Hey guys! So, finally, I'm now a Canadian citizen! Good morning everyone and welcome to your virtual citizenship ceremony. My name is Shamira and I'm the clerk of today's ceremony. And before we begin, I'm going to ask uh, some seat numbers. Okay, everybody has turned on their cameras. Perfect. So before we start, here's what you need to know. The ceremony portion will last approximately 30 minutes. If at any point during the ceremony you cannot hear us, give us a signal by touching your ear. As much as possible, please ensure to limit distractions around you during the ceremony and turn off telephone and cell phone volumes. Others, of course, it is the device that you're using currently for this ceremony. You can remain seated for this media oath ceremony. You will not need to stand for the oath. You will be muted for the majority of the ceremony. 
This is a reminder that you cannot take pictures nor record during the ceremony as other candidates have not given you permission to do so. You will be given a chance to take a picture with the presiding official at the very end and I will tell you when. Now please enjoy this ceremony. The citizenship ceremony is now in session. The session will be presided by a citizenship, citizenship judge, but it is my privilege to present to you a, uh, 98 candidates for citizenship who have met all the requirements of the Citizenship Act and are now ready to take the oath of citizenship, the final legal requirement to become a Canadian citizen. I now invite you to give your opening remarks. Thank you, Madam Clark. And good morning, everybody. Welcome to your citizenship ceremony. Bonjour, bienvenue à votre ceremonie de citoyenneté. Thank you, Judge Tanibal. We will now proceed with the oath of citizenship. All candidates who are over 14 years of age are required to take the oath. If there is any doubt that you have taken the oath, you will not <laughs> obtain your citizenship certificate. Children under 14 years of age do not have to repeat the oath, but can if they wish. It is necessary that you repeat the oath in English or French after Judge Gullivore. You are encouraged to repeat it in both languages as a symbolic gesture of your commitment to respecting Canada's two official languages. Judge Gullivore will start by saying I swear, but you have the choice of saying either I swear or I affirm. We ask that you position yourself directly in front of the camera now so we may see you properly during the oath taking. So if you are a family of more than one person, please make sure that we can see you all clearly in front of the camera. If not, please make sure that you will just get down at this point. Okay. And now please pay close attention to the following instructions. You will repeat the words of the oath as a group, one sentence at a time, and each time only after Judge Dalibor. Please do not read the oath on your own or do not go ahead of Judge Dhaliwal. Just wait till you hear what Judge Dhaliwal says and only repeat after her one sentence at a time. All right, so one final reminder, we need absolute silence at this point. And when you raise your right hand, make sure that we can see your face. Make sure you don't cover your face. Don't cover each other's faces if you're more than one person taking the oath so that we can see you all in front of the camera and your faces at this point. Perfect. Thank you, everyone. Judge Dhaliwal, the candidates for citizenship are now ready to repeat the oath of citizenship. Thank you, Madam Clark. So just to reiterate, we're going to say the oath twice, first in English, then in French. Please repeat after me. I swear. I swear. That I will be faithful. That I will be faithful. Félicitations, bienvenue à la famille canadienne. Congratulations to you all. Welcome to the Canadian family. I am delighted to be looking at Canada's newest 98 citizens. A couple of things as we wrap up our ceremony this morning. Firstly, I would like to thank our clerks, our head clerk, co clerks, and all the IRCC officers who have worked so hard behind the scenes to bring today's ceremony together. Thank you all. The second thing I would like is to share a little bit of personal information. I like to tell people that I'm Indian by birth, English by upbringing, and Canadian by choice. Like you, I chose to become Canadian. I received my citizenship back in 2007, so now I'm 15 years ago now. But even though it was 15 years ago, I still have very clear memories of my own citizenship ceremony. I remember the joy, the excitement, the relief in the room as we took our oath, and I remember the sheer diversity of people that became Canadian with me on that day. And now I see your flags, I see your banners, I see balloons, I see smiles, I see those of you proudly wearing your Canadian colours, and I see that same diversity on my screen. Thank you, Judge Dalibal. And now a few words from our Prime Minister, followed by the National Anthem. Today you will be singing All Canada for the very first time as a Canadian citizen. This is now your National Anthem, so sing it loud and proud. We will be singing a bilingual version, but you may choose to sing it in English or French or bilingually. Thank you for choosing Canada. We're so glad you're part of our country, what it is today and what it will be tomorrow as we build it together. Congratulations, Canadians, and welcome home.
on behalf of the IRCC, congratulations to the new Canadians and thank you to everyone who contributed to this ceremony. The citizenship ceremony is now closed. You will now have the opportunity to take a photo with Judge Dhaliwal. So for privacy reasons, before we start taking pictures, I ask that you please close your video now. Pictures, you got 30 seconds from now. Uh, once again, remember, do not turn your camera on as you only need to be able to see Judge Dhaliwal on the screen. 20 more seconds, everyone. Begin celebrating your first day as a Canadian citizen. Thank you to everyone. Congratulations once again. Welcome to the Canadian family. Have a wonderful rest of the first day as a Canadian family. Bye. Bye. You can... I'm no Canadian citizen. <laughs> Canadian citizen ako. Canadian citizen ako. Hey guys. So finally, I'm now a Canadian citizen. After four years of landing here in Canada, I can now say that I am a Canadian citizen. So happy! Pope is a little bit behind because we didn't got our test schedule at the same time. But he's gonna be a citizen, like, I don't know, maybe weeks or months from now. But I'm glad, finally, I can now call myself Canadian citizen. <laughs>